Jeff, Paul, my, do you have a way with words. It wasn't enough for you to deceive the minds of those that choose to follow you. No. It appears you've went full-fledged crazy. That tongue of yours has weaved a web of lies that even you yourself have begun to believe. I'll admit you got one over on me. But the thing about a web of lies, Jeff, is once we start weaving them, it's very easy to get stuck. And if you look up ahead, that spider's crawling down. It's only a matter of time. It is only a matter.
the Silver Fox, he's going to be taking on a young man who's had a run of bad luck lately. A vicious assault the last time we saw him out here. But you know, if you ask him how he's doing, in spite of everything, there's one thing this man's going to say, and you already know if you've been watching, fans. It's okay. is scheduled for one fall and it has a 25 minute time limit. Make it his retro reset wrestling debut from the Casa de Fox. He is the Silver Okay. As I was saying, the fans, no affection whatsoever for Silver Fox. Tons of it, though. They got wheelbarrows full for OVK. They love that sweet pumpkin. They do, because he's okay. Steven he's a likable sort. I'll give him that. He's okay. Let me figure that. I thought you was okay. You okay, and speaking of okay, I'll tell you what's better than okay, and that's that this portion of Retro Reset Wrestling is brought to you by ESPN Radio, the ticket, your home for WVU sports. Don't miss a second of the action, Stephen Hensley. They are the ticket. ESPN Radio, putting you in the game. Come on, Steven, let's get fired up, man. A silver fox and okay. Well, you stole the words from my mouth, Bobby. So let's get fired up here. Okay, diddly dokey, says the silver fox. That guy's out of his mind. He's kooky as they come, and I like it. He's uh, crazy like a fox, if you will. As, the, as uh, OK introduces him to that uh, unforgiving turnbuckle there. No, it's just being introduced to his sister, but hey. <laughs> OK makes the cover, but not going to get the job done. I got to think, Stephen, that uh, he's still feeling, I was going to say, still feeling the effects of that injury. But perhaps I may have surmised that too soon. No, I think he's just not that smart, Jason. He's got a lot of heart, but heart and smart aren't quite the same thing. That guy's out there hurt. They rhyme, Steve. Heart, smart. So fart rhymes too, man, but what's it got to do with the situation at hand? He has a hurt neck, and he just got sent into a ring post. Whatever your strategy is, that's stupid. That takes years off your career when you're already injured. <laughs> he's okay. Doesn't look okay. Where's his mother? Does she care? The Silver Fox taking back control of this one, Stephen Ensley. Okay, fired away to the mid section of the Silver Fox. Silver Fox, look at this. Cinching him in. Oh, incredible implant DDT. Didn't see that coming, neither did Ophi. That's on the injured neck. Absolutely. You still think he's okay? Perhaps not. Perhaps. Look at this, Steven. 
He's going with a dragon sleeper here. It's a good strategy. He's got the neck bent back. He's cutting off the airflow. He's in Hammering position. away. Hammering away at him. Really good position to control him right now. You know, people say, you know, the the age of the Silver Fox, but, you know, don't I, don't discount him at all. I think he's got uh, the better end of his career still ahead of him. Oh, he's a mystical creature. He's timeless. <coughs> Coming off the ropes is okay. He gets caught, though, in a oh. clothesline to the back of the head, and again, that neck, then bud. Get back to that neck. And you know, gotta think, you know, the last time he was out here, when he was getting beaten down, and make no mistake about it, that was a beat down. That he stopped was, being yes. a contest. Absolutely. His that, family was out here. It was uncomfortable, Steven. I don't know. You know. How do they I, feel right now? How's Papa Kessler feel? Because he was just about out of his shoes getting ready to come out there after I think Papa Kessler feels pretty good right now. As OK is taking control of this one, Steven. Look at this. A bit of a leaping side blockbuster of sorts, a variation, nearly takes it. Perhaps, perhaps if he weren't out here hurt, maybe he could have had it there. Still, hurt or not, the fans are behind him. Yeah, you can't take that from him. He always has the fans behind him. Off that second rope, and cross the, body, but he's managed to be caught by the Silver Fox. He hoists him up onto uh, his shoulder. Look at that, Steven. Yeah, Foxy Lance. was waiting. <laughs> Another near fall. The Silver Fox not able to get the job done, Steven Hensley. Well, Foxy's not done. He's got a bag of tricks. He's not one to shy away from sleight of hand, and he's incredibly gifted as far as being an in-ring competitor. Don't let the kooky zany antics fool you for a second. He's a fun guy, but he's down to business when he's in the squared circle. Look at this. He's calling for the end. Steven Ensley as he attempts to get Oka Kessler up. Well, if he gets the power driver, it is done. Look at this, Steven. Good float over into a pinball. He stole it. Didn't see that coming. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner! Okay. Murphy <laughs> Kessler, hard fought victory in a back against the wall situation. Coming out on top, but the Silver Fox. Incredible showing for himself today. Tonight's the night, or the day, to head to Retro Reset and let's fuel that Hot Wheels infatuation. Reset. Retro Reset at the Crossroads Mall. You got a cow, cucumber, and company. Don't you forget their number, 2500123. 2500123. For a good time with your website, call Cucumber and Company today. Online at cucumberandcompany.com.
Yeah, our Jeff Ball takes a start sometimes. There we go. Oh, no Lord, no Mitch. There we go. Jeff Ball's out here. The whole damn Paul family's out here. I didn't have that on my sheets, but you know, if Jeff wants them out here, they get to come out here. Who wants an entourage? He gets an entourage. He wants a heavyweight title? He gets a heavyweight title. He wants a sheets biscuit? He gets a sheets. He slaps the clerk across the face. He grabs the biscuit, and then he comes back down here. That's who he is. That's what he does. Kids named Mason in history. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. take that much more BBC can they ah, Stephen Hensley one of the one of the biggest things here in the triple R BBC I've heard that a lot I'm really excited for this matchup Stephen probably at least five of my favorite competitors here in retro reset, Russell. Okay, I, I want to revisit an accusation I made that you might be biased. Did you really have to say they got the short end of the stick? They got screwed. They did, Steve. 
Jason Schaefer sipping the haterade. Mason, I got you, buddy. I believe in you. Well, you, that makes two of you. You and Jeff Paul. And I guess Laura. I guess Laura Paul, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess you want to dismiss her, too? It, no, it says so. Jason on the Schaefer hates women. You heard it here first. It says it on the notebook, Stephen Hensley. Back to the action in the ring. This I'm interested in. Cyclops and Kincaid, you want to talk about two capable high flyers. These boys are it. Former winner of the ECWA Super 8 tournament, Jason Kincaid, and an all around capable and ever present competitor on our Cyclops. Look at this, Stephen Hensley. Nice. Snapmare takeover. And he takes him down to the map. We're going to see some wrestling right here in this ring tonight. Good control of the wrist lock by Kincaid. If there's a guy who can get out of that quick, it's him. Cyclops holding on good, though. Kincaid slides underneath and then drops down. Cyclops, though, right on top of him, still has control of the wrist. Incredible, just incredible. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, Stephen Hensley. I really, really, I've been looking forward to this one all week long. Kincaid in control, although Cyclops shooting him off. He comes in, big shoulder tackle. Kincaid takes down Cyclops, he poses on him, goes off the ropes up and over. Look at this, Stephen Hensley. Block of the attempted hip toss, Kincaid going down low. Oh. Good chop across the chest. You can hear it every corner of this room. Oh. And there was your receipt, Steve. Cyclops, you know it's an absolute testament to his ability, how well he's able to hang with Jason Kincaid, not just aerially, but on the mat. On the mat as well. Look at this, we saw, speaking of people that can hang, we saw this youngster, Tyler Jacks, do just that uh, just a few short weeks ago on this very program when he took on Cyclops. Interested to see him as he faced off against the snowman, James Frost. Yeah, totally different breed of competitor from Cyclops. James Frost, he's a guy, he's a lot more about hitting you in the face, really, than anything else. He's got some wrestling moves in there, but this guy's a fighter. He's a brawler, isn't he, Steve? He's not always, always looking for the ladies when he gives that call in the middle of the night, who up? Sometimes he's looking for a fight. You know, you can always tell, too, right before he's ready to go, he smiles, and he gets that nod. He doesn't say a whole lot, but he's ready. And from that moment on, it's trouble time, buddy. Nice kimp up from the Hollywood Vampire. I don't think... Uh, not smart. I don't think Frost expected that. Look at that. You can find your teeth about two rows back, bud. They're going tit for tat, blow for blow. It's like schoolyard kids fighting yeah. right now. Well, an interesting tidbit, you know, uh, in a few short weeks, April 19th, uh, the Hollywood Vampire will be stepping into this uh, a squared circle of a different variety as he uh, is going to be fighting in the rough and rowdy. Oh, yeah, our boy is an all-event kind of fighter, a multiple sport man, and I wish him all the luck in the world. As the pride of professional wrestlers everywhere is behind him as far as I'm concerned. I would agree with that. I'll I bet my money on too. Definitely would agree with that. Kincaid making it known that he wants BBC. Not something I expected to hear on, on the broadcast this year. Not on my bingo card. But hey, if he wants it, let's see if he gets it. Well, Kincaid has called for, a, for the crowd to settle down and made the announcement that he, in fact, is ready to take BBC. Well, Jason Kincaid is the luckiest gal in the room, I suppose. Really taking his time with BBC. Oh, BBC going right after him, just driving into Kincaid. Oh, look at that. Speed and agility on the side of, of one Jason the Gift Kincaid. He tags in uh, the younger Paul. Brother. Let's go, Tom. Let's go, Mason. You got this, buddy. I mean, <laughs> figure something out. I don't know what the strategy is, but you got this. I believe in him. Now he's not scared. He's not intimidated at all. Well, he needs to get out of the way. He He's taken BBC before. Yeah, but I don't think he wanted to. He was always from behind. You know, he wasn't ready for it. Good Lord, Stephen. Wow. There are some His that you, back was turned. There are some that you feel, and there are some that you hear, and that was both. Jason 
Kincaid straight through the chest. I don't care. Of Mason Paul. I don't care. Look at this. It's a triple. I know it's a chop, but when BBC does it, it may as well be a heart punch. Absolutely. Those hands are the size of skillets. They probably feel like it, too. And Delivering that huge avalanche in the corner, that's got to be it. That's got to be all she wrote for one Mason Paul. BBC driving it home, and Mason Paul, he's kicking out. He's, he's staying with it. You got to give him credit. Look at this. Tossing him around like a rag doll, Stephen Hensley. Definitely seeing the power of and the strength of BBC. Well, BBC holding Mason Paul in place as his partner, James Frost, comes in at him, just scrapes him out of the corner. Following that, hook of the leg, referee slow in position, but he gets there too. Nearly had him. Another near fall. The snowman going right back to work with that rear chin lock. He's got it a little low, but it's not as snug as I'd like to see it. And he's got it there now. He's pulling up into him. Mason Paul, though, was able to get to his feet a little bit quickly there. Pushing him off the ropes. He's got the separation. James Frost got caught. Tyler Jacks got him from behind. Kincaid dropped him through first. That, that, there you go, the hallmark of a true veteran. Well, Kincaid always ready to take the advantage away from his opponent. Look at this. I like how these guys, they, the Kincaid family with Mason Paul, if you will, working together, functioning as a unit. I didn't really expect to see that, Stephen Ensley. They didn't skip a beat after the double cross by, by the King of Beckley, Jeff Paul. They've gone to work and accepted his younger brother as their partner, and they're using it to their advantage, Stephen I have to assume that was a pre-discussed plan. Yeah, a double cross. It was beautiful. Look at that. You prepare for one guy, you get the other guy. All your strategy goes out the window. Nice cover by Tyler Jacks. Frost able to get the, do a kick out there. Look at this, Stephen Ensley. He doesn't skip a beat. He goes right to work on him, applying that crippling cross face. Frost attempted to get to the rope and doesn't really have a look at this. In. Look at this. There we go. That's that's locked in. And that is and tied I like, up. I like that strategy tagging in. Uh, Jason Kincaid, these guys know. are just functioning as a unit. I don't, I don't know if the snowman has a chance. Look at that. Big break in the back, Stephen Ensley. Kincaid, he's a violent competitor when he's ready to be violent. But you know, honest truth, I think the Hollywood vampire could have just held him in that and just kept him there. Look he at wasn't this. going anywhere. More pain to the punishment to the back of, of the snowman, James Frost. I don't know that I'd let him get back on his feet, though. I, I think I'd go with that consistent tag in, tag out. Well, there again, you know, youth and exuberance. Um, Mason Paul certainly doesn't have the the experience that uh, one Jason Kincaid and Tyler Jacks have. Well, Mason Paul, as you were saying, it shows right there as he jumps off into a boot to the gut <laughs> there, and you could have scouted that one a mile away. Cyclops on the apron begging for a tag. He wants to get in there and get his hands on Mason Paul. Oh, he's super fresh. Mason Paul able to tag in the Hollywood vampire Tyler Jacks. He's going to drag the snowman over into uh, their corner. Nice push off. He gets the tag. Cyclops coming in. Freshman in the ring. Ducks and hits him with a chop. Tyler Jacks back up to his feet. Drop kick. Huge drop kick delivered by Cyclops. Tyler Jacks able to get back to his vertical base. Look at this. Chops in the corner. We've seen this time and time again from the redneck Luke Schnorr. Shoots him off. Oh, and finds nobody home, Stephen Hensley. And he just knocked himself loopy. And what a good position for Tyler Jacks, the Hollywood vampire, lying in wait right now. And he's got him where he wants him. Quick body blows, working over Cyclops, doing no favors to that redneck luchador. The most popular guy in the trailer park. Up and over he goes. You seem like you're becoming a bit of a Cyclops tonight yourself, Stephen Hensley. I heard he makes a mean Spam burger. That may be. 
The Cyclopsonites have come alive behind their champion Cyclops, the Redneck Luchador. This time we're getting to 10, Steven. I can feel it. The fans of Beckley, West Virginia are going to prove you wrong and count to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up, 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 up. 10. Holy heck. They did it, heck. Steven Edson. Everyone gets a gold star in the arena. It's the apocalypse. Cats and dogs are getting married. Look at that up and over. Cyclops eyeing him up from the center of the ring. I don't like where this is headed. Big, huge super kick. The Hollywood Vampire goes down. Cyclops makes the cover. Cyclops hooks the leg, but only comes away with a two count. Mason Paul and Kincaid on the outside. You gotta wonder what they're conversing right now. Well, and let's not lose sight of the secret weapon, perhaps in this situation. One sleazy E. Mm, the wheel man, if you will. Squeaky wheel gets the grease, bro. This really could be a four on three situation, one might argue. I mean, you could make that argument. And he's got him by the leg now. Cyclops not able to make his way back in the ring. Hunter Hagee none the wiser as he's uh, occupied with Mason Paul. Tyler got him low there when he was coming in the ring while he was held in place. Kicked that rope right up between the legs if you couldn't see fans. And Kincaid having his way with Cyclops right now. Look at this. Drops him with a pile driver. And this could be it. Oh, I thought we had a winner, Stephen Ensley. I was on the edge of my seat. I thought Kincaid was going to get the win there. I think Kincaid thought he was going to get the win. I'm surprised. I thought he had it. The fans are back alive. The Cyclops tonight are cheering for Cyclops. Kincaid delivers a kick to the head. He's in the corner. He's revving up Stephen Ensley. He's revving up. Cyclops attempted to get back to the vertical base. You can tell he's got an injured neck. You can tell he's out of gas. You well, can tell he's in trouble, Stephen Ensley. Well, if he's injured, he's in the ring with the worst guy to be in the ring with because Kincaid knows every move to take you apart, but Cyclops ducking out of the way at the last second. Look at this, Stephen Ensley. Cyclops down and injured. Kincaid has taken a little worse for wear from that missed maneuver. Kincaid not able to even know where he is. He's reaching for a pin. He's scooting around. He's trying to figure out where he's going, Stephen Ensley. Well, he's back at his corner at long last. Cyclops needs to find his. He's on borrowed time. Mason Ball. Mason Ball. Well, Mason Ball, he's in the worst situation you could possibly be in if you're as big as he is. And looking at a guy as big as BBC, BBC is huge. Mason Paul trying to get himself a big old piece of BBC. Oh, buddy boy. No, 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 no. This is not the strategy. Duck out of the ring. Duck out of the ring. Make him chase you. Not this. Not Steve this. Hensley, can you believe he's eye to eye? With oh, the, my gosh. With the biggest thing in the Triple R, and he just there fixed his hair. You can tell he is Jeff Paul's little brother. Well, Mason Paul, he's trying to find an inch in this thing, but unfortunately for him, he can't get the space to work with BBC. Well, he's looking for an inch, but he's going to get the whole thing. He's going to take the whole enchilada tonight, Stephen Ensley. Look at this. I don't know what's going to happen. He's got a hold of it, but big side slam delivered by BBC. That money shot. This could be it, Stephen. He tags in the redneck luchador. The Kincaid family heading to the back. Mason Paul is oh, out no, here no, no, all no, no, alone. No. Look at that huge cutter delivered well, by Cyclops. Mason Paul's getting ganged up on right now. Cyclops, he dropped him like a sack of potatoes. James Ross, he's going to take his time now. He's up on the middle rope. Take all the time in the world. No help for this kid. Oh, huge frog splash by the snowman. That's three count. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Boys, the match is over. Wait, the match is over? And PBC looking across at Tyler Jackson, Jason Kincaid. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Black Eyes and Cyclops. Look at that.
that. That's an amazing sight seeing their hands raised. The red leg neck luchador side by side with black ice. You know, it's unfortunate for Mason Paul the situation he was in, but the fact of the matter is Jason Kincaid and Tyler Jacks, they took about as much BBC as they could take. They had about as much James Frost, as much Cyclops as they could take. It was a hell of a contest out here. It's it rare is. to see Kincaid walk away from something. The Kincaid family consoling Mason Paul. Another day awaits that young man. Still very early in his career. But nonetheless, the victors today, Cyclops and Black Ice. Fans are going to stick with us. Still to come, that huge main event street by Aaron West and the amazing Matthew Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Black Ice and Cyclops! We got games, we got games, Sega to Nintendo, Capcom to Coleco, even Midway games. We got games, we got games, Atari to Konami, PlayStation to Xbox, we be dropping names. We got games, we got games, get them here but cheaper, our selection's deeper, our catalog is insane. We got games, we got games, seeing is believing, come to Retro Reset and check out all these games. You have a book, podcast, album, or TV show you need to promote? Cucumber & Company will custom tailor a digital platform to engage your audience and generate buzz around your product while you focus on creating remarkable content. We provide artists, authors, and personalities with custom websites, commercial video, audio hosting, and social media management to help you succeed. At Cucumber & Company, we're your biggest fan. Schedule a consultation today at cucumberandcompany.com. Take your shots at the enemy I 
I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half nuts You are not as tough as <laughs> That's right, this is the one the fans came to see. The amazing Matthew Scott taking on undeniable Aaron West. He's a two-time, two-time, two-time 304 champion, and he is no stranger to a street fight. And it, Matthew Scott trying for a low blow, and it's not working. And I smell some chicanery here. Some Sean Connery. Chica chicanery. Like, like 007? Son of a gun. Well, Matthew Scott, I don't think he's figured it out yet, but here we go. There we go. I think he figured it out. Yeah. Think he's down for a game of Uno? I don't know. Some, uh... I think he's already playing it. Look at this, Aaron West deciding to uh, reveal his secret weapon there. He had a little protection. Oh, that is a little, a little support athletically. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, can we get that the hell out of the ring? Yeah. That, that seems unsanitary. Absolutely. This is a street fight, Stephen. Anything goes, it can be a breathing apparatus. The rules are, there are no rules. It does look a little bit like my CPAP machine, doesn't it? Holy hell. We're at this point in our lives. Nice running knee lift into the corner by Aaron West. Surprisingly limber. Unbelievable, Stephen Hensley. Sending him across the other side. Matthew Scott walks right into a big spinning side slam. He's got him down, got both legs hooked. Two. No avail. This is the one the fans came to see. And I'm on the edge of my seat. I've been on the edge of my seat all night, Stephen Hensley. What a stacked card. And just think, this is the kind of thing that we're going to see all day and all night long at Retromania, oh. August 3rd at Epling Stadium. Stay tuned. I know they've already announced the Godfather's going to be there. It's an all day. You know that? The Godfather's going to be there? The Godfather's oh, my goodness. Papa Shango, comma, oh. The many faces of Papa Shango is going to be there. The Godfather live. Love He'll be it. signing autographs. Uh, who knows? He may even come to the ring with uh, black ice. Who knows? But there are I hope also. He's pimping. Do you know how this is going to work, Steve? Do you know that there's going to be an all-day-long pop culture convention? 
Then one of the greatest wrestling shows that the area has ever seen. And then immediately following the wrestling show is a huge fireworks display. Mark your calendar. Plan on spending the day with us at Epling Stadium August 3rd for Retro Mania. You got it all out in one breath. Proud of you. Aaron West in a problem situation right now. Matthew Scott really rung his bell against that ring apron moments ago. Well, you know, you, you're definitely, you're dealing with two tough customers, two double tough individuals here, Stephen Ensley. Uh, Matthew Scott, of course, has the chair uh, going right to the windpipe, right across the throat of undeniable Aaron West. And you know, the no rule situation in a street fight really, really like make you question like how much we value our competitors because they can really, really crack each other's skulls open. They can break bones. If nobody's quitting, like, threat, can the ref stop it? No. But here's the other thing, Stephen. Think about this. You know, everybody talks about, you know, uh, Aaron West has been in this street fight. He's been in that street fight. He did a, a fans bring the weapons against Ron Mathis. He did a uh, fans bring the weapons against Sid Myers and the JPWO. But let's not lose sight of Matthew Scott has been watching street fights since he was a toddler. Sure. Watching the likes of, of, of the original syndicate, Joey By God Morton, in bloody, bloody battles all over the state of West Virginia and beyond. And let's not lose sight of the fact that he's watched his own father, Dangerous Dave Scott, in such a situation time after time after time. Well, I think more importantly, if we're going to talk actual advantages to his lack of street fight experience, let's talk about the fact that Aaron West has been in the ton of street fights. That's not necessarily a good thing. That's what? A decade, two decades of street fights, of getting hit with chairs, of getting hit with ball bats? I don't care if you're good at street fights. You can only take so many shots with chairs before that card starts gets filled up. Stone. Those That's injuries right. weigh you down. That's great for Matthew Scott. How many street fights has he been in? Is this the first? Absolutely. He's fresh as the daisy. No this, injuries. This is his first, and it very well could be Aaron West's last. Well, Aaron West, he's got a lot to motivate him going into this one, not the least of which is revenge, and the most of which is probably still the championship, which he is very proud of. But Matthew Scott, as you see him wrap that belt around his fist, is not going to make it easy. Blocked by Aaron West. Fired away at the youngster. He takes him into the corner. He lifts him up. Look at this, Stephen Ensley. Plants him right in the middle of the squared circle. He sees that belt. He sees that belt that Matthew Scott was just delivering that punishment right to him. He's going to take it back. He's going to take this youngster behind the wood pile, Stephen Ensley, and I think he's going to beat his butt. Well, Aaron West has certainly opened up an incredible door for an opportunity. And Matthew Scott's paying the price right now for bringing that belt into there the contest. There it goes, Stephen. There it goes. You put a weapon into Aaron West's hands, good luck to you. Weapon That's how you end up still the short end. You're absolutely right. Look at that. Huge welt starting to rise up on the back of the youngster. The amazing mascot will be able to get to his vertical base and able to shrug off. Undeniable Aaron West goes to work on him in the corner. Stomp in the midsection. Giving him those boots. Well, Matthew Scott, not going for a breather. He's walking around there. I feel like he's going for a weapon. And you would the title be correct. Out there, the chairs. You would be absolutely correct. And you know, not letting Aaron West have a moment to breathe, not even while he sets up his swing. Bringing him up to his feet, just taking him over to the chair. He's going to drop him head oh first. Oh, my God, DDT right on that unforgiving steel chair. And that could be it. He could be knocked out. Oh, he's still got a little something left in the tank. Gave it a kick out there at two, Stephen Hensley. Two and a half. That was a near fall if I ever saw one. 
And you know, all the credit to the world, and, and the world to Aaron West to kick out there. That takes a lot of fortitude. But you gotta wonder how many times you should kick out. Well, After you take those shots to the head with that chair, you're not in the best place to make judgment calls. Oh, no, look at this. The, the amazing one, Matthew Scott, going to the back. There, of course, is no count out in this particular situation. Uh, he's got parts of our, our, our ring ropes in case a ring rope breaks. He, and he's got, what is that? They, oh, they use that to twist the turnbuckles into place there. That's solid yes. steel. Yes. You want to talk about wind up in your hand. Yeah, this is not good for Aaron West. He's got him bloodied. He's got him bloodied. Not good. Not good for Aaron West. Matthew Scott pulling him back into the center of the ring. Stomps that back. Look, he's going to work on him with that ring rope. And it is nothing more than... Look at that, Stephen Hensley. I don't even know what to say. Aaron West You, you don't need to say mask. anything. Not just the crimson. Look at this. Look not at just this. the crimson mask. Look at his actual face. His face is turning purple because he's being denied so much oxygen. It's almost worse than the loss of blood, which is flowing more quickly now that he's fighting for breath. Stephen Hensley, this is uncomfortable to watch. Matthew Scott really laying into him. And Aaron West powering up, and that's got to be difficult considering how little he's been able to procure by way of airflow. But he's able to push his way out of it. Have belly to belly suplex. Big belly to belly delivered by undeniable Aaron West. Both men are down. Aaron West, of course, bleeding profusely from the damage that he's taken at the hands of Matthew Scott. And Matthew Scott. Trying to find his way back into the thing. You see his eyes blinking rapidly there. He's fighting to stay awake right now. Both men just fighting to, to remain conscious at this point, Steve. Aaron West, absolutely freakish human being in terms of ability to absorb punishment. Matthew Scott, he's focused primarily on the skull of Aaron West throughout this entire contest, almost a trademark of the new syndicate. They're big on blows to the head. They like to not just defeat men, but take them out, which is really the only strategy in a street fight. Both these men covered in, in Aaron West's blood. Aaron West fighting to maintain clear vision so that he can even see see the man that he's taken on. Aaron West signaling to the crowd. He goes in with a full head of steam and goes right into that big boot by Matt Scott. Matt Scott going to work on Aaron West and shoots him off. Coming into a spine buster by the amazing one. He's got him covered. He's got the weight distributed. Aaron West, though, he got the arm up. That wasn't as crisp as we're used to seeing. But still, I do think that it was devastating nonetheless, Stephen Ensley. You're absolutely right. I was both actually referring to the kick out. That's my buster was both, on point. Both men are, are feeling the effects. I'm surprised he was able to even kick out. Yeah. Freak of nature. But for how long? Matthew Scott going and collecting another weapon of destruction. He throws another chair through the ropes. He's looking, he's looking all over the arena, trying to find anything that he possibly can to use as a weapon. I think referee Hunter Hagee checking on uh, Aaron West there. He may have even applied a little glue to that wound on his head to try to stop the bleeding. I don't know that there's enough time for that to do any good. Well, I don't like what I'm seeing here. I believe it's uh, this is probably all she wrote for one Aaron West. I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna be crowning a new 304 champion, Steve. Well, Aaron West fighting out of it. He's got Matthew Scott up on his shoulders, dumps him across the chairs. Oh my God, Stephen Ensley! He may have broken his back. He's got the leg hook. He's got the win. He's got the win. He's still the 304 champion. He'll be taking on. Jason Kincaid next month, Stephen Ensley. Earned every inch of it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still 304 champion. He's undeniable.
Welcome to Retro Reset Video Games and Collectibles. Located at Crossroads Mall in Mount Hope, West Virginia, we have thousands of video games, consoles, and accessories, as well as a wide variety of affordable and high-end collectibles, including cards, comics, Hot Wheels, Funko Pops, and vintage toys, all ready for you to buy, sell, or trade. We also host celebrity meet and greets and vendor shows, as well as private parties. So visit Retro Reset today at Crossroads Mall or online at retroent.tv.